So my name is Siobhan Vipond. I'm a member of the International Women's Day Organizing Committee here in Edmonton. I'm also the Secretary Treasurer of the Alberta Federation of Labour and we are very happy that everybody has been able to come out um, regardless of the weather for the many issues that we have. Um, thank you to uh, Sharon who brought up of course one of our major issues and a national embarrassment which is the murdered and missing Indigenous women in Canada um, and a lot of work needs to be done there. I'm looking across the way and I see the women gathering of Migrante and the great work that they do. And I'm looking over here to my union brothers and sisters and the work that they are doing. And I'm looking over at the women in the building trades who have a huge fight on their hands and they do it every step of the way and they do it with dignity and hard work and talent. And so we gather today because all of our issues together will make us a movement to make sure that this province understands that we're not there yet. Equality, equity has not been reached and we have a lot of work to do. And so we're in a province that our government recognized that and has the status of women department, Woo! finally! Yes. And yeah. because women have children, uh, the current minister was unable to join us today and I'm so happy that that's the reason why. But I'm also so happy that we have the Minister of Energy, Margaret Quaid Boyd, who has come out um, to cover, um, but also to share some words with us. Um, so please, Welcome, um, Mark, to the stage. Do you want to, or do you want to stay down there? It's fine. It's okay. um, I'll try down here first. <laughs> so thank you, Siobhan, um, for your kind introduction, and good afternoon, everyone. Really pleased to be here today on behalf of uh, Premier Rachel Notley and all our colleague, caucus colleagues. It really is a pleasure to uh, bring greetings from our government. I'm happy to join you today on the traditional territory of Treaty 6 in the heart of Edmonton. Let me also say I'm very happy to be helping out a new mom by talking and walking with you today. Status of uh, Women, Minister Stephanie McLean. Minister McLean is the first Alberta MLA to have a baby while in office, let alone to be first, the first minister. How's that for celebrating International Women's Day? We're all thrilled for her and her husband Shane and baby Patrick and for the possibility she's opened up by being a young woman in leadership. Sorry, try to be quick. So this milestone, 100 years in the making, is just one of the signs of the change of our government. Change that includes a gender balanced cabinet and a creation of the status of women ministry. We aim to achieve these milestones not for the sake of doing so or to prove Alberta's leadership. It's to make sure they stop seeming like milestones. Our goal is to reach the day when there's no fuss about having as many women as men in the cabinet table or at the boardroom or any other decision-making table. Women's views are part of a spectrum of opinion to help us solve problems that affect us all. We want women to have better paying, more secure, more flexible, fulfillment employment. Okay, you could do that. Sure. Teamwork. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and be part of a better, uh, better, more secure, more just working life for Albertans. We want to close the gap, the wage gap between men and women, so all Albertans can be confident their work is being valued and paid fairly. Yay. Yay. We want to face the tragic fact that more women experience violence than men at the hands of men. We also want all who identify as women and girls to feel safe and accepted. We want to see the silence end and the truth uncovered in the National Inquiry on Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. We want to make sure that women and children have a place to go to escape family violence, a place that will help the whole family make real progress towards healing. We want this so all Albertans, men, women and children can live in a safer, more caring society. The effort to achieve, achieve these goals will be led by Alberta's new status of women ministry and it will take all of the government to get us here. Minister McLean will be announcing the mandate of her new ministry very soon so stay tuned. As always on International Women's Day we're mindful that we have a long way to go. But let's remember that this is also a day to celebrate what we've achieved and to consider what's possible because that is limitless. I'd like to thank the organizers and volunteers of this event uh, for all their hard work to make this day possible. And I'd also like to thank all of you, the women and men gathered here, for your hard work every day in making a better future possible. 
So thank you and let's go for a walk. <laughs> yeah.